Hi everyone, so in this video I'll be talking about making the vacuum station. So it's like a cart on wheels with all vacuum stuff on it. So I can move it around in the entire workshop uh, having some vacuum connection points everywhere. So it's with four lines, so I'm able to pull vacuum on four parts. There's a degassing chamber, there's a new vacuum pump, there's uh, the catch pot as well, and then all kinds of hoses and things like that. So um, I'll be showing you through this video how I've made the cart. So it's a bit of woodworking and so on, but you can do it as well with sheet metal or, or if you're good at welding, you can make something similar, maybe even better. Um, I'll have the plans on my Facebook page later on where I'll explain all the lines and connection points and so on. So you know how to assemble um, this workstation. So it works very well for me. So I've decided to share it with you so you can make it yourself. You can also do just like a mount wall or use an existing table so you don't have to, to do all the woodworking if you're not able to do that. Um, so that's about this part. As you will see in the video, um, I'm wearing like a winter jacket, a bonnet and so on. Uh, so this was shot during the winter, it was very cold here, now I'm just wearing a t-shirt. So the video is a bit delayed, so I'm not lying about that. A lot of stuff has changed in the workshop as well. Uh, but I've just finally found the time to share this project with you guys. So I hope you like it. Um, I'll still do like a little announcement about the We Love Composites Facebook page. So there's a page, the link should be down below. Uh, please join if you want to. There's a lot of great people helping you out uh, with some projects and problems you might have. So enjoy the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and see you in the next one. So first thing I was thinking about is it didn't need like an extra voiceover to do on, on this video, but I decided to do it just to give like some more information on some things I did and why I did it in this video. So most like more important things are at the end of the video, I think, with like including all the the fittings and how the entire system works as a as a unit. Um, but like I'll go through this video and just give some more information about choices I've made or or decisions that that make an impact on the tool that I made here, so the cart. So like one of the first things is I've been using OSB wood. It's, uh, I think it's chipped board or something like that in America. So like, if I'm not correct, correct me in the comments below. Uh, but I've used it because it's quite strong, it's cheap, it's easy to cut and so on. If you're like very good at welding and want to use sheet metal and weld the cards together, I think it might be better, um, but like a bit more pricey. So I, I was more, more focused on the price and budget of this because it's just a table. Uh, supporting like the entire unit of the vacuum system uh, but if you prefer to do it in metal and so on you can do it and if you do please send me some pictures on Facebook I'll be glad to share them with with everyone and see how your cards worked out so I've made two bases here so one will be the bottom base and one be will be the work shelf like where all the tools are on um, and I'm just making some reinforcements under the plates because like the plates are quite strong but probably not strong enough to to keep all the weights and so on because like the pump is quite heavy i don't know like exactly how much it weighs but it's it gives like a good base on uh on that cart um so like here i'm just using some screws um i would recommend using these screws i don't know if you can find them everywhere in the world they are like self-tapping, so you don't have to pre-drill some holes and you can just screw, screw them all the way through the wood without having the wood to splinter. So um, I'm just adding some wheels. So keep in mind that you need like quite strong wheels because it's, like I said before, it's quite a good amount of weight for the entire cart in wood. So uh, <laughs> here I've just made like my first skateboard and just fooling around in the workshop, trying everything out, seeing if everything rolls like it should. Um, so here are the first fittings of the shelves. I've only used um, one deep shelf um, on these, like it's double 
um, leveled and the other side will be uh, just like it is because the vacuum pump and the degassing chamber will be mounted on there. So and the shelves are good to store resins, um, all the clamps, connect connections and so on. So here I'm just, I decided to route the um, surface around because like when you're using this you will be involved with vacuum bags, um, moving parts around and so on. I just wanted to prevent uh, going through vacuum bags or so on, on the sharp edges of the wood. Uh, I also decided to sand the entire surface, so it's not 100% necessary, but I just want to get like a good surface to work on because like a lot of parts will be made on, on this table or just like during the infusion and so on and I don't want to have splinters in my hands and so on. So that's also why I've rounded the edges of the top plate, uh, just to be sure like in worst case if I go against these corners that I don't puncture bags and so on. So um, I've left some space on the downside just to be able to move like all the electric wires and vacuum fittings and so on through that gap in the bottom. So this is a pump, it's, it's the newest pump in the range of uh, Easy Composites. It's a DVP, I think it's called EC21 uh, pump. And the good thing is it's quite low in noise. It's, I think it's also, um, when you shut down the vacuum, no um, oil can go through the, the, uh, through the hoses and so on, because I had that problem in the pumps that I've been using previously. Um, but this is also a very strong pump, getting a lot of volume of air out of the parts quite quickly. So that's also why it's good for the gassing resins and so on. So um, I would highly recommend you to use the oils that are um, officially like used for this pump. Um, they're quite cheap and it's just safe to use like the good oils and so on. You don't want to mess up your pump by some uh, bad oil and so on. So there's one inlet and one outlet and there's also a noise and oil reducer or fume reducer that you can buy on the Easy, web, Easy Composites website. I also include like a full list of all materials needed, probably down below in the comments, uh, in the description below, and also on my Facebook page where I'll show like a diagram of how everything is connected. So like quite an important thing, and I, I forgot to order that piece. Um, it's a reducer just to be able to connect like more common, um, barb wire connectors and so on. So you will need such a thing to mount it on the pump because it has another fitting like the smaller pumps from Easy Composites. And then I'm using some PTFE tape, so just to be sure that everything is under vacuum because the last of the things you want, it's just having a leak somewhere, uh, looking into your bags and so on and just noticing at the end that it's just a pump that is uh, leaking at some point. So here I'm making some valve connectors just to be able like to shut down some circuits of uh, vacuum and so on. So I'm using a very strong uh, vacuum hose here so it's reinforced with some metal just to be able just like to know that the wire cannot collapse or I mean like the tube cannot collapse under vacuum because there will be some good vacuum applied on these tubes. So like I always do, it's, it's not like the prettiest thing, but I'm using tacky tape just around all the connections just to make sure that there is no air leak at any time. Because like when making such a system, you get a lot of connect connection points, uh, valve and so on. And you just need to make sure that every connection is 100% sealed uh, and airproof. So um, I moved the card around here, put the pump down below where I've designed it to be like you might have another design but this is a design that works quite well for me so then I'm just cutting some like uh, tubing systems that I just found them somewhere uh, a while ago and finally found like the good use for them so um, there's uh, like this will distribute uh, 
um, one line into three extra lines. So I'm able to have three lines. Uh, one will go to the, the gassing chamber and two lines going all the way uh, to the other side of the table. One will be connected with the catch pots and the other will have three extra, no, I mean two extra outlets for vacuum on parts and so on, for example. So this is the, the gassing cham chamber. So I have one going all the way through the, uh, to the catch pot and the other one is still another wire I can use, another line I, I can use later on uh, on other parts. So if you want, you can have, uh, if I'm correct, four uh, lines uh, of vacuum on parts. So that's quite a good amount to do like multiple infusions at once. So here's uh, the system. So I put on the pump, then I open the valve, and then everything is distributed to the distribution point, and then I can close all the ones that I don't want to have open, open the one that goes to the catch uh, to the degassing chamber, and then here's an example of how you can degas your resins before infusion, for example. So here's like the lines once again, so it falls, and you can just close them if you don't use them and then open the ones you would like. So at this stage, you have like a full vacuum system. It can be closed whenever you want. And uh, like here, like the shelves are used for um, all types of connect uh, connectors. Um, these are the clamps. And like having all my supply close to each other that I can roll around through the entire workshop.